We're looking at an object in the collection of the National Museum of Science and Technology in Stockholm. This is object number 26047. It's a mechanical calculating machine uh, using Brunsvinger machines and it was commissioned by the Swedish State Railways in 1918. Uh, the calculators here are Brunsvinger machines. The rest of the machinery, according to the description, was made uh, here in Stockholm in a small mechanical workshop. We have no detailed information about corroboration between Brunsviga and Stockholm in the making of this machine. Some of these parts may, of course, have been made in Germany at the Brunsviga factory. We're not really sure. This machine was made in uh, two copies. This one is in the collection in, at the Museum of Science and Technology in Stockholm but it came from the National Railway Museum in Gävle in central Sweden. It was used uh, by Swedish State Railways for calculating tonnage on the State Railways. It used data regarding the amount of goods tonnage, the number of axles on the trains that were being pulled and the number of kilometres they travelled to get all the different kinds of statistics with regard to axle kilometre tonnage. So in fact, there are five machines working separately, but all being driven at the same rate. So the number of rotations is the same for all five, but the uh, numbers that can be fed in are different. I've entered some new numbers. This gives us a chance to look a bit closer at the uh, registers. This was electrically driven, uh, an electric, electric motor with a belt going up to this pulley. We turned things around. This is what starts the whole mechanism off. The main, drift, the main drive from the electric motor can be going all the time, but once this kind of clutch is engaged, then things go round. It has to go past that shoulder there. When it has done, We get engaged, this is a kind of clutch, we get engagement there, you can see actually that's quite worn, and then the whole lot goes round to that stage when uh, this clutch acts as a cam, pushes that rod back, and a cam on this second axle then moves everything back into place so that you're ready for a second rotation there.
that there's a mechanism here for shunting uh, a large part of the calculator either to the right or to the left. You can see here that the lower carriageways in fact are connected and they're connected to a rod that goes in under here and can be moved backwards and forwards by this actuating mechanism here. The reason that I had difficulty in sorting this out is that the whole thing is driven <coughs> by two eccentrics here. <coughs> the uh, ball bearings <coughs> fitted on an eccentric and they actuate cam followers that are going on to a, an arm, an actuating arm that moves this part of the mechanism backwards and forwards, lifts these locking poles at the same time as uh, there's a, a shift at the bottom. The, the cam followers here have jumped out of place and uh, I think there's been some mechanical deformation uh, because they won't go back in place without actually re-machining this actuating arm. That means that the location of all this part of the carriageway is not accurate at the moment, so it's not working as it should be. At the end uh, of a series of calculations, due to this actuating device here, the whole lot will have been shunted to the left and this rod here will push on that uh, lever, uh, making it possible to zero the input on the five calculators. The whole machine, uh, apart from the damage here, uh, is in very good condition. Nothing has seized up, uh, nothing is rusty. There has been a certain amount of maintenance done on this. I wondered at first whether there could be a solenoid here uh, that was part of the device, but uh, I've reached the conclusion that uh, basically the, um, the entire thing is mechanical. As I said, this machine is at the National Museum of Science and Technology in Stockholm. Uh, we don't have the primary ambition of getting it to work again, uh, but if anybody's interested in studying it closer, then they're very welcome to get in touch with the collections department.